So currently this is what my first pour looks like each time. You get a lot of head coming out at first and then it clears up. So I end up with that. But I'm gonna try installing a fan that can cool the tower. Actually, I'm gonna install two fans, one to cool the tower and one to circulate the cold air up from the bottom. I ordered a two pack of USB fans, eight centimeter, it's just a basic like uh, computer fan off Amazon, I think it was $16. And what I'm gonna do is just cut the wire and then I can insert it where the uh, CO2 line comes in. So I just pulled back the sleeving or cut back the sleeving a little bit and then I'm just gonna snip these. Ideally, I would reconnect them with some shrink wrap, uh, but I don't have any right now, so it'll just be tape job. I've already installed one of the one of the fans, and what I did was I just pulled back the sleeve here that the hose goes through, and it gives me a little bit of room, wiggle room here, so I can slide the wire through, and I'm about to put the second one through here. All right, you can see it pushed through right here, and I'm just gonna pull that through and then reconnect them and I should be able to push this sleeve back in even with those extra wires there that way I didn't have to drill any holes okay so I was able to push that sleeve most of the way back in and these just run down and connect to a USB plug got this junction box came just like this fully sealed The top will come off. I'm gonna cut and fit this to fit inside. Then cut a hole, drill a hole, so that I can mount this. I can mount this guy in the hole. And then I have a chunk of tubing that's just long enough that I can mount this and it'll go up the tower still and it fits nicely inside of this, right inside of there. Nice snug fit, put a little tape around that. Mount that on here, boom. This thing's gonna be pumping cold air straight into the tower. And that's where we're gonna cut the circle to mount my fan. not perfect but it's pretty close not too shabby you'll probably do a little better job cleaning it up but this will do so I think what I'll do is a crazy glue not crazy glue sorry I'll just uh, use some hot glue to get this in place and then I found some screws that will be just the right length to uh, to, to really Hold it in place because I don't trust the hot glue to last for years. Okay, so I just double checked to confirm that side that the wire here is on is the side that the air pushes out to. So I want to make sure I mount it this way so that it pushes the air into the box. I'm just going to tack it in place with a little bit of hot glue in these corners. And I'll just add a little extra. some screws here that I can use to really secure it down. That's pretty good. Oh man, this place
plastic is tough stuff. Perfect. Look at that. This will be where the wires come back out. I'm in the home stretch here. This uh, laser temperature guy here, I'm getting 18.3 Celsius. That's at the base. Now, if we take a reading up higher here, get closer to the spout, I'm at uh, 19.2, 19.1 Celsius. So that's without the fan pushing air up the tower. So I'm gonna plug the fans in now and see that changes the temperature in the tower. After I plug the fan in and give it time to cool, the bottom is now reading 15.3 uh, Celsius. So that's colder. And now if I take the reading 14.7. Okay, this is the temperature on the outside of the tower I'm reading. And this is an insulated tower insulated on the top and around it. So I'm not sure what temperature I'm getting inside the tower, but if it's, that much, if it's that much colder on the exterior, just by pumping some air up in there, it's clearly working. So I just have it mounted at the back of the fridge at the top because my hose was pretty short and it just runs up inside there. And there's a secondary fan, second fan down here, just pushing air around this fridge so it's just circulating the cold air and it's not sitting all at the bottom so after the cooling tower that's what it looks like now a much more reasonable Port. 